Assalamu alaikum sir, uh, welcome to our 461 project. Here for creating a robot, we need to choose the robot from the base node. Then we have to add it. After that, we have to go to the children under the robot and then choose shape. From the base node, we need to add it. Uh, for the geometry, we need to choose the box shape for our body part. Then we need to resize the robot by choosing the coordinates value of x, y, z. After that, we need to collision to the body shape and then we need to apply physics. Now, body is completed and uh, for the wheel, we need to go to the children again and we have to go to uh, the add node and then select hinge joint and then go to the joint parameter and then uh, select hinge joint. Then we need to go to the device and choose a rotational motor for the robot wheel. Then we have to choose the solid. And for geometry, uh, we would choose a cylindrical shape. We gave a proper uh, the height and the radius and made four wheels uh, by same method. Uh, now we need to add distance sensor to the robot and to give a shape we have done necessary steps. And then we have added camera sensor and GPS sensor to it. Now I am going to explain the controller part of our robot. Here we can see the controller code in C++. We imported all the header, head, necessary header files and we defined the time step which is 64 milliseconds. After defining robot and distance sensor pointer, we instructed, uh, we instructed our uh, distance sensor to take input in every 64 milliseconds. Then we enabled camera and camera recognition. Furthermore, we made a char array of the robot, uh, robot wheel names and assigned uh, initial speed to every wheel for making the robot moving uh, and uh, avoiding obstacles we made this while loop we made this a uh, this loop and uh, we also created uh, an avoid uh, obstacle avoiding flag which is zero initially zero but when it uh, detects some uh, obstacles it uh, in assigns hundred values to it and uh, it all it tells the robot uh, when to rotate. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Farishta Kabir, and now that we are done with the robot bodybuilding and the controller code part, let's jump on to the simulation and the mechanism of the system. So, first of all, we need to understand that what components are responsible for making the uh, system work. So, first of all, we have here these two distance sensors, and the distance sensors work according to the x axis of their placement. They measure the distance um, in terms of the x axis. So, we have uh, place this in such a way so that it covers most of the front and side areas of the robot and works as the eyes of the robot. And this helps the robot to detect any object or obstacles placed in front of the robot right away. And as you can see, there are two rays coming from the x-axis of the sensors. And there we have a camera placed in front of the robot too. So this works as a visual capturing device and this captures whatever it is, uh, it is in front of the field of view of the robot. And the uh, visual representation can be seen here within this camera window this virtual window. So let's start the simulation and check whether our uh, distance sensor is working properly or not and if it can detect the presence of any sort of object. So as you can see, our robot is approaching towards the wall. So the robot should not collide with the wall. Instead, it should change its path whenever it gets closer to the wall. Yes, as you can see, the distance sensors are working just as fine and it could detect the presence of the wall within its proximity and it changed its path. And here uh, within the window, we can see that camera is working well too because we can see that uh, all of the um, objects of different shapes and size are being detected. The red marks, the red rectangular marks are the proof of that. The proof of that the recognition is happening properly. And how did we did that? We did that by enabling this recognition feature within the camera node. We have enabled the recognition feature. We have set the frame thickness to three and we have changed the frame color to red, as you can see. So our field of view is two right now. So the range is two. So if we change it to one, as you can see, the range is much narrower right now and it can detect everything within its field of view. So it can feel the spherical objects, the cylindrical objects like the soda cans or the barrels, and it is approaching towards an obstacle again. It, it can detect the presence of the obstacle and it also changed the path by sensing its presence. So we can conclude that our camera and the, uh, and the distance sensors are working just as fine for proper object detection. And we have, uh, and another thing is we have changed the width and height of the, uh, height of the uh, camera to 64 pic uh, 640 pic pixels each for better clarity of the camera. So lastly, we can see, yes, the 
the object detection is working just as fine. So that's it. That, that was our project. Thank you so much. 